Let me show you something really simple, cool, and powerful. Let's say you need to charge your mobile device. Android, Apple, it doesn't matter. And there's no electrical outlet anywhere in sight. Maybe you're in the airport or camping out in the middle of nowhere. Camping in the middle of nowhere, you say? With a dead cell phone? All I need is a Patriot power bank, a charging cord, and the sun. So I'll throw my power bank in the sun, wait till it gets a full charge, plug that baby in, and reap the benefits of solar technology. So if you want a ready and reliable source of power anytime, anywhere, then you want the Patriot power bank. Oh, by the way, it's got a really cool flashlight too. My discount code is in the link in the description. Grab a couple of them. All right, I want you to look at this picture right here. Do you really accept this as your new normal? I've begun several videos with this quote right here, but I want to start this one with the same quote. It's often attributed to Adolf Hitler, but it's really from Pat Miller from the book Willfully Ignorant. The best way to take control over a people and control them utterly is to take a little of their freedom at a time, to erode rights by a thousand tiny, almost imperceptible reductions. In this way, the people will not see those rights and freedoms being removed until past the point at which these changes cannot be reversed. This is perfectly ridiculous. It's worthy of ridicule. Look at this guy standing on the beach with a mask. Healthy people, according to doctors, YouTube, should not be wearing masks. It's bad for your health. It deteriorates your own immune system. Let's check out this news segment. We do want to start tonight with News 4's Miles Miller in Brooklyn and that controversial NYPD arrest. Miles. Well, Jen, the reason so many people... Just talking with a mask. I don't accept this as my new normal. Don't accept it at all. It's, I'm going to laugh at it every single time. Having a guy away from other people, not even standing close to people outside on a sunny day, the only other person around is this cameraman, probably six to ten feet away, and he's still wearing a mask. Why? To condition our minds into thinking, this is normal. This is what normal people do. This is what Anthony Fauci told you to do. This is what Deborah Birx is doing. You need to follow these guys. You need to follow your orders. Take your medicine. Turn off your minds. Check into the cult of personality. Suspend critical thinking. Immerse yourself into cognitive dissonance. People are outraged by what happened there is because that woman was wearing, wearing a mask. It's renewing calls for the NYPD to get out of social distancing enforcement. It shouldn't have gone down that way, period. The mayor admitting this morning the NYPD social distancing enforcement efforts aren't working. Overnight, a video surfacing showing a rough arrest of a young mother with How many cops do we have here? One, two, three. There's, there's two, three, four, five, at least six. Her child in her hands. Police say it happened before noon Wednesday at the Atlantic Avenue Barclays Center. It shouldn't be happening. Okay, so you got the guy holding the camera. You had a guy over here to the left. Let me back this up. You can see this person with a camera. The camera's on the end of a selfie stick. This person right here. So that's what we've been relegated to, guys. Our freedoms have been taken away to such an extent, and we've accepted this as an, our new normal, that we're just going to stand around with video cameras and let these thugs, I don't care if they have badges, uniforms, and guns, and come with the authority of the state, they're thugs. Messing with this woman, with a child, look at this little child right here. This is a horrible situation, and yet we're going to sit, sit, stand around and record instead of help. We've been so distracted, deceived, and divided, and therefore conquered that we can't get together and take care of and take down this, this badged, armed band of roving criminals who are picking on this woman for no freaking reason. Antic Avenue, Barclays Center Station, officers stopping her from going into the subway with her child because she wasn't wearing her mask properly. What followed was this. The woman identified as 22-year-old Kalima Rosier, yelling at the cops to get away from her. As they tried to escort her out of the station, things got physical. That's too much, man. To say the least, whatever else was going on, 
uh, in that video, whatever else was happening in that moment, we should never have a situation where a mom with her child ends up under arrest for that kind of offense. Police say the arrest was justified. They like, like you can believe one word that comes out of de Blasio's mouth. Look at them. They're just following. They're stalking this woman, waiting for an opportune time to just take her away from her kid and take her to the ground. They say she hit a cop when they attempted to grab her to put her in handcuffs. She was Of course, that's the natural response of somebody who's getting attacked. You don't let them attack you. You slap their hand away, and that's what she did. Check this out. Charged with disorderly conduct, resisting arrest, and harassment. She slapped his hand away because he was being an attacker. I don't care. Don't, don't let the badges and costumes fool you. They're being attackers. They're attacking this woman on the subway. And why aren't we getting together and defending this woman? Because we've been mentally neutered. Maybe morally neutered. Yeah, morally neutered. Giving a death's appearance ticket. Police Commissioner Dermot Shea said this morning the woman threatened to cough on the officers and cursed at them. What we want to do is educate people. We want to get compliance, but we want to do it without the use of summonses. Shea said the woman told cops she was under a lot of stress when she snapped. Remember how stressed people are. Everyone's lives have been turned upside down. And we have brought that into being. Our lives have been turned upside our lives have only been turned upside down because people like this guy right here are order followers. They're not moralists, they're conformists. A moralist does what is right regardless of what he's told, but these conformists right here do what they're told regardless of what is right. Everyone's lives have been turned upside down. The incident renewing calls for the NYPD to get out of enforcement of social distancing rules. As data released by the department this week showed 90% of arrests for social distancing infractions were of black and Hispanic people. We should get the police. Yeah, they're, yeah, they're only going to stop doing it because the majority of the infractions were black and Hispanic people. You should get out of it because it's immoral. Uh, th that means they're racist. They're being racist. We should get out of it because uh, a certain race of people are really suffering more than other races of people. No, you should get out of it because it's wrong. You should get out of it because you're initiating unjust force and violence on peaceful people just because you believe in some CV-19 lie. Out of this area, let the community be part of this reculturing. Re Did he say reculturing? I missed that the first time I watched this. Back into the world of ridiculousness. Was this guy wearing a mask? Yeah. Look at that. It's easy to get desensitized, guys. Look at all these people are wearing masks. This guy's wearing a mask. This guy's wearing a mask. This They're all standing away from each other, being good little order followers. Let the community be part of this reculture. And Free culture. And the NYPD has handed out several summonses for social distancing infractions, but they want to make it clear that they haven't arrested anyone for issues related to social distancing. We'll have Atlantic Avenue, Barclays. All right, guys, now I want to show you this right here. And even, even though what you're about to see, yeah, this is them trying to dumb us down again. I thank goodness for this lady right here. I, I love to see rays of sanity in Massachusetts. What are you guys doing? For people to walk in one direction? Okay, this, this is insanity. You know this. What the? <laughs> this is insanity. You know this. Oh, we're well aware of it, but we're still doing our jobs. We're still following orders. We're still doing that which is insane. Putting single direction, one-way arrows on a sidewalk where you can only walk one way. Listen to this lady. God, this is crazy. Well, you know what happens when you people authority? I, who, who's the um, town manager for Swampscott? And I, I bet he supports Charlie Baker. Oh my God. So people, now what happens if I don't walk in? What if I do this? And I, and I will, because this is what I'm going to do. What do I, what happens if I do this? What do they do to me? Well, what if I do this? Because I will. This is what I'm going to do. I'm going to walk in the exact opposite direction of where the arrow indicates. I love this lady. It's, this is ins I know you guys are doing your job, but this is insanity. This is tyranny. That's what this is. This is communism. Come on. This is communism. 
No. And, and now, now it, it's not even so bad. Yes, it's bad that the workers turn off their minds and they just follow orders. But the worst thing about this whole thing is for every authority or official that you see telling you to follow social distancing guidelines, you have hundreds, thousands of brain dead lemmings who are going along with it and just following orders as well. Hey, they told us to wear masks. We're going to do it. They told us to social distance. We're going to do it. They told us to shelter in place. We're going to do it. They told us to load up on the box cars. We're going to do it. They told us that it would just be a small, short chlorine shower. So we stepped in the shower because we follow orders. Stop following orders. That's what's wrecking our country. No, it isn't. I'm, I have a double masters in nursing. What kind of health is this? You're going to get a, a you're going to get you're going to get a COVID from walking down the street. This is insane. Look at this. Two people who are together walking with a mask and they're fine. Thank God this woman has some sanity. No mask on her. And they're I love this woman. I love this woman. We all need to be like this woman and go, this, this, that's insanity. That's not insanity. I, when I'm out, I thank people for not wearing a mask. Thank you. Thank you for your, a, a, a breath of fresh air insanity. Thank you. Fine with, with what's going on here. Spray painting arrows on the sidewalk in Swampscott, which means that if, if you are walking in the wrong direction, if you walk, it, I, I'm telling you, that's what's going to happen. Take a look. Go to the Swamp Scott. Go to the Swamp Scott um, website and find out what happens if you don't walk. It's not this guy. These guys faults. They're just this is Swamp Scott, Massachusetts doing their job. But but look at this. Look, this is Swamp Scott. This is where the governor of Massachusetts lives. This is what's going on. This is insanity. This is what's going on. Look at this. This is tyranny. This is communism. This is what the Chinese communist government does to their people. And it's happening right here on the streets in Massachusetts. Massachusetts. I love that. She's right. This is what they do to the people in China. And we're accepting that. On American soil. We're just rolling over. They're blowing us down with their, the wind of their words. And we're just falling back. Now here's one more example before I end this video. Check this out. Hi, how you doing? So, um, so you're not going to allow me to shop into this place unless I give you my name and my details. Is that correct? So what Animax has asked us to do is in line with the um, MPI, which is what the government is asking us to do. So they're asking all stores to contact Trace mm -hmm. where possible. So what we're doing is we're taking a name and a number. Michelle, can I just borrow you for a tick? Um, so we're taking just a name and a number so that we can get in contact with anybody who could come in contact with the virus. Okay. okay. The authorities. She's submitting. Well, I know she's an, she's an employee, but this store is a, submitting to the authorities and getting your information and getting your number so they, the store, can contact trace. Remember how they're talking about an army of contact tracers? It's not contact tracing. It's constitution trampling. So they're trampling your constitution by getting, getting your information and finding out who you've been in contact with so they can contact trace. That's what it's amounted to. And this guy is basically saying, and this woman is, is saying, that this guy can't shop in this store unless he gives her his details and his number so that they can initiate contact tracing. So you're refusing my, um, my ability to come in here and purchase something. It is the safety of the staff and it's the safety of all the customers that we need to have this register. So without that... Because if you don't submit to us, you're jeopardizing the public health of everybody in this store, employees and customers alike. And you're a bad person if you don't submit to giving our details so that we can contact trace you. You can shop online with us, but unfortunately you will not be able to shop in the shop today. So you're refusing my ability to be able to purchase something if, unless I give my personal details, is that right? Sir, is that right? This is what the Just, EPI It's a yes or no is. question. So you're refusing my ability to be able to purchase something because I won't give you my details. Is that correct? 
if that's how you're understanding what I'm saying. Is that what you're, is that what you're telling me? So am I, okay, so can, let me ask you, am I allowed to go in here and purchase something without giving you my name and details? At this stage, at level two. No, so you you're breaching my, do you realise you're in breach of my private, my um, privacy act? You you're in breach of the Privacy Act by refusing worker? me to allow to come in here and buy something you and, and making me give my details, you're in breach of my privacy. Do you understand that? I can understand where you're coming from. Is, is, this, you your, is this your... She can't answer the question. Obviously, it's a breach of anybody's privacy. I don't know about the Privacy Act. It doesn't matter. See, what I hate about relying on a law, it's like, hey, there's a law here to protect me. Well, they can change that law and they can replace it with a new law. So it's not about law. It's not about legality. It's about morality. And this is completely and utterly immoral. And this is just one step away from saying, hey, you can't shop here unless you have your vaccine certification. You can't fly unless you have your vaccine certificate. You can't take the metro. You can't walk down the street. You can't come out of your house unless you've been vaccinated. Someone higher up the ladder, is it? No. She is another worker that works here, and we are protecting our staff and our customers by following the guidelines. How are you lines. protecting me by breaching my privacy? I just need to See, that's the thing. They turn this thing around on us. They're saying, hey, you are initiating unjust force and violence on us because you refuse to wear a mask. You refuse to social distance. You refuse to give us your information so we can contact Trace. They flip this whole thing around. To get you to wait a moment. It is not my choice. I am following what my company has told okay. me. Okay. It is your choice. It is your choice. You can refuse. You can all stand together as employees and say, I refuse to do that to my fellow human beings. It is a choice. See, that's why people go, well, I'm just following orders. It's like, I had no choice. Look, I'm completely absolved of the evil I'm, I'm about to initiate on you. BS. It's BS. Have you ever heard of the Nuremberg Code? No, I have not. Nuremberg Code are the trials that Hitler did after the uh, war and when he put all his... Uh, um, minions through the courts there and they said just doing my job is not an excuse for breaching people's rights so again you're refusing me entry into here and to purchase something unless I give you my personal details I understand sir if you have a complaint you can call 0800 animates and complain to them about their services but unfortunately I cannot allow you to come to the school how do you feel about this I just to wait a moment how do you feel about this personally as, as they actually can even as employees, they can allow people come to come into the store. If they get fired, they get fired. So what? They did what is right. See, these people are order followers. They're doing what they're told regardless of what is right. You know they know it's not right to invade somebody's privacy and withhold their ability to come and shop like free people unless they jump through the contact tracing hoops. There's another customer in other places. Do you feel safe giving your personal details to other people that you don't know? I understand that we are in a crisis mode at the moment as a country and I'm doing my part. Well, level two, to it's this. quite relaxed at the moment. Yes, I understand that. And this is day one of level two. And this is what our company... There's a crisis. We have to throw all rationality out the window. Don't you understand? We're in a new day. This is a new time. This is our new reality. And we have to act differently has asked us to do and what the government has asked of our company to do. Okay, but do you, are you aware that what they're asking you to do is in breach of people's privacy and the yes. Privacy Act? A very important act. I understand act. those privacy acts, but this is what the government okay, has asked. Okay, oh, that's good. Okay, so, so you understand those acts and yet you're still refusing me to come in here and purchase something yes, unless I give you my details. I am doing my job. So uh, that's no excuse. Okay. Okay. So, um, okay. so um, can I just have your name? Uh, okay, Amanda. Thank you for your help there. And 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 I don't want this to be personal. I don't want it to be about you. And it's and well, I do have a complaint, and you should too, because this is a breach of your privacy as well as everybody else's. And that's the point. These people who are enforcing these anti-privacy acts, these people who are enforcing these tyrannical acts, are basically enforcing them on themselves and their families. And anybody who stands up for their own rights is actually even standing up for the rights of the person who's transgressing their rights. I understand where you're coming from, but like I've said, unfortunately, I cannot do anything. My hands are tied at this point, so... Okay, so you're flatly refusing me to come in here and purchase something unless I give you my details. As I have already said. Yes, yes or no. Yes, that's correct, yeah? I will ask you to leave now. Do you have anything this? to say about this? No? 
Sorry? You asked me to leave now. Yes, please. Okay. Look at this little contact tracing, probably government approved chart on their desk. Okay. Okay, so I'm voluntary, I'm voluntary come in here, folks. You can see what's going on. I voluntary come in here to purchase something and use my cash. Got the hand sanitizer out so you can further compromise your immune system. Cost the counter and they're refusing me entry unless I give them my personal details, which is a breach of my privacy. Do you see how this is rolling, folks? Thanks for your help. You have a good day. Well, you can do that if you want to. I'm not. Am I breaching a law? Am I? Oh, so now they're threatening to call the police on me, folks. Okay. Okay. Well, you have a good day. Oh, is it? <laughs> wow. So they're just following orders. That's what they've been instructed to do, and that's how it rolls, folks. What a sad state of affairs it is in this country. You have to breach your own privacy rules and regulations be able to purchase something over the counter now if you don't have a problem with that folks then by goodness we're in a lot of trouble hey thanks for joining us i'm going to sign out now all right guys i'm going to leave this right here i don't accept this as my new normal we shouldn't accept this as our new normal we need to stand up and stand together because when injustice becomes law resistance becomes duty if you guys get something out of these videos subscribe to the channel hit the bell notification icon give them a thumbs up share them with everybody you know don't forget to subscribe to my private email list through my website highimpactflix.com if you want to support the channel grab one of these hard-hitting conversation starting shirts from the shirt store your purchase helps me produce more content i'll see you guys in the next heavily censored shadow band video Deaf and dumb thespians take the silent stages with their cobweb throats. They can't sing any notes, so the audience begins dispersing. The actors get pissed, they start cursing. They're tired of rehearsing. They're ready to do the damn show. They're ready to go. You know what I mean? Fuck the quarantine. Fuck COVID-19. Fuck a fucking vaccine. Social engineering at the center stage. About to go full circle when we turn the page. Miss Deborah Burks, you old bitch, putting COVID on old bits and certificates. It's ridiculous. We, we should, should be enraged at our rate, at our newfound fate, and change the